guys, this is Jessica Reese back again today with another wig review. I'm really excited to show you guys what I have because it's a new brand that I've never tried before and an awesome color. But before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you again to Wigs by Patty's Pearls for sending me these wigs so I can review for you. Um, it has been so fun just to get the hair mail in, to try out the different colors and styles, and I've been having a blast. Let's go ahead and now get started with the wig review because I'm really excited. Um, this is, like I said, it's a brand I've never ever tried before. It's a Raquel Welch wig and the wig is called Spotlight. So for those of you who maybe have been wearing wigs for a while, you may have heard about it. It's a really, really popular wig and um, it's been a bestseller for a long time. So Raquel Welch Spotlight is a long, heat defiant synthetic wig. In the inside, it has a monofilament top, so that's awesome. It gives you the look of a natural scalp while allowing you to part it in any direction at the top. It has a lace front in case you wanna wear the fibers and the hairs away from your face and gives it a more realistic look. And then it has open wefting in the back. Um, I've tried on this cap and I actually really enjoy it. I think it fits me pretty well. Um, you may know that I have kind of a petite to average head, so sometimes wig caps can be a bit big and uncomfortable. Um, but this one felt pretty good. Uh, like I said, she's a heat defiant fiber. So instead of just being a traditional synthetic fiber, you can apply heat to her in the form of flat irons and curling irons. Uh, we can talk a little bit about that later, but I did want to just mention before I put her on how she looks in comparison to this wig, which is a human hair wig. This is the Blake wig by John Renault in the color 12 FS8. And a lot of times with heat defiant synthetics, because of the heat defiant fibers, they're actually not gonna have as much sheen or shine to them as traditional synthetics. And when I pulled this out of the box, I was amazed. I thought this color was gorgeous. Not only do I love the color, but I love that it just looks so much like real human hair. So if I kind of put this up, so again, this is this HD synthetic Raquel Welch wig, and then this is the human hair wig by John Renault. You can see that the colors are both very similar. This wig is actually a bit cool than the um, Blake wig here, but you can see that it has a similar sheen um, and similar shine to the, man, that is like a tongue, like what is, what is that called? Like a, it's a mouthful, tongue twister, similar sheen and shine. So I am really digging the color. That's probably my favorite part of this wig. Um, the wig has a lot of bangs to it, some heavy bangs that we'll take a look at. It's long and she's got some layers at the bottom. So I will pop her on and we will check her out. Okay, one more quick thing before we get to the spotlight review. I just wanted to remind you, in case you are brand new to my reviews, that all of my reviews, whether they're video reviews or photo reviews, they are all filter free. Yes, hashtag filter free. So there's not gonna be any filters, um, like I said, put on the videos, um, nothing on any of the pictures. This is all natural sunlight, no artificial lighting whatsoever. I just really wanted to give you guys the ability to get a the best view of the wig as possible in terms of style and color. And oftentimes when people do wig reviews with heavy filters, it's often hard to kind of just get like a realistic view of what that wig's gonna look like specifically when it comes to the color. So don't forget, the entire time you're watching, everything is filter free. Okay, let's take a look at her. All right, you guys, here she is. Here is the Spotlight wig by Raquel Welch. Um, this is in the color, if I didn't already say it, I just wanna make sure that I say it again. It's RL19 slash 23 SS. So this is a blonde rooted color. You can see there that you have some dark roots to make it look like it's kind of coming directly out of your head. I actually really love the color of those roots. And then this is a very, very cool blonde color, which, I love cool blondes. Like, I actually, like the, my most favorite thing about this wig is definitely the color. You can see it has a really, really heavy bang, uh, like I said, or for those of you outside the US, you call it fringe. Um, and then you can see it's a long wig that has some really cute layers here at the bottom. Again, I will talk a little bit about the heat defiant fibers and what that means for wearing the wig, but I just wanted to first just get her on and let you see. Um, the way that these bangs are, like I said, they are very heavy and you can wear them in a variety of ways. If you are somebody who really loves a big swoopy bang, um, this is awesome because this is absolutely what it is. Don't forget, always use your wide tooth comb with these. You can kind of make her like a little Farrah Fawcett-ish. 
like this, or if you guys watch The Real Housewives, um, I'm obsessed. But this is kind of giving me Gretchen Rossi vibes. She's from Orange County. She was on a few seasons ago, but she always had these big swoopy bangs, and I was so jealous of them. Um, and this, like I said, this is kind of giving me like Gretchen Rossi vibes. So you can do something, you know, big and swoopy like that. You can do something a little bit more subdued where you kind of get the bangs to blend in with the other hair and kind of put them down and flat so they aren't kind of so like in your face. That's also kind of a cute look. Um, you can obviously do it in the middle if you want or on the other side because it's a monofilament I am a fan of the left side of a part on me but I really love on anybody kind of like a deep part so you could always kind of take it to the end of the lace and really bring all the bangs over that you can um, and have a look kind of like that if you can't tell, I'm really loving this. I think that the bangs are really fun. I think they're really versatile. You can build them up or you can kind of flatten them down this wig, when you put it on, I think I've mentioned to you before, you know, like I kind of have a petite head um, and some average caps can feel a little uncomfortable on my ears. This actually feels really good. It's a very secure feeling cap. It kind of feels like it molds to your head. Um, so it just feels really good on. The fibers are pretty light feeling. It's is not heavy at all. And because it has these kind of short layers up front, you can put it behind your ears very easily. And I think that is, of course, really cute. So, so far, this is kind of how I would wear her. Just kind of out of the box, brush her out, put her behind my ears, bring the bangs over for a little bit of a swoopy look, and I think you're good to go. In my opinion, you, you don't have to do a lot with this wig in order to wear it right out of the box like you do with some other wigs. Um, again, like I said, you can put it behind your ears very easily, and it's super, super cute. So let's talk a little bit about the front lace line. Um, like I said, this is a lace front wig, so you can absolutely wear it away from your face if you want. Because of the bangs, I just think they're so cute, I wouldn't want to put them out of my face, but you can if you want. The only thing that I feel like is a little funky with the front here is that because of these hairs in the front are so light, it makes the lace front very light so it looks good you don't have a lot of heavy knotting but as soon as it goes from the light hair to the dark hair um, right here for the rooting that you can see that there's quite a bit of those dark knots so you go from light hardly any noticeable knots at all to then very dark knots so I just feel like that's something that I would not want to kind of make I don't know how, do you, how you say it, but I just wouldn't want to draw attention to that area. So I would prefer wearing it like this because then when you see the knotting right here, it's not such a big difference between no knots to knots, if that makes sense. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are considering this wig. Another thing to keep in mind if you're considering buying the Spotlight wig by Raquel Welch, like I said, this is a heat defiant fiber, which means that you can apply heat to this wig. You can flat iron it, you can use a curling iron. Um, you do have to pay attention to how hot you're getting. Make sure that I point out is with synthetic fibers that are heat defiant, they often have a lot more texture with them and along with texture can oftentimes result in tangling. So tangling is something that everybody who has heat defiant fibers is gonna deal with. Um, what can make the tangling worse are long wigs, movement, and layers. And this wig has all of those. So as you can see, this is a pretty long wig. It definitely goes far past my shoulders. Um, you can see there's a lot of layers here at the bottom and then you know just because it is a long wig There's going to be a lot of movement just when you're moving around. It's going to be rubbing on your shoulders um, If you're in any sort of wind at all, that's obviously going to move the hair around So you are going to experience tangling with this wig I can tell you absolutely you will in the short amount of time that I've had this spotlight wig and I've just worn her I've played with her. I've tried different styles. I can already feel that she's starting to tangle so if you get this wig and if you wear it for any length of time, you will absolutely have to have a wide tooth comb. I would keep this in your purse, in your car, and I would absolutely use it like every hour at least, if not every half an hour. Um, it doesn't have to be a big deal, but I would definitely go through the ends and I would just brush them out. It's just going to avoid tangling worse and it's going to make your wig last longer. 
So if I was gonna say anything about this wig, that would be my most major complaint is just the tangling. But again, that just comes with the heat defiant fiber. You get the benefit of being able to style it with tools, but then you get the disadvantage of extra tangling and care and maintenance. So it's one of those things you just kind of have to take the good with the bad. Overall, I think this wig is gorgeous. I love this wig. Um, I could see this wig being something that I wear on a daily basis. I've definitely tried the ponytail test, and depending if you have bio hair underneath, um, you can pull a little bit out with a ponytail, but because there's a lot of this fringe here, it's something where you could pull your hair back, kind of keep it over your ears if you didn't have hair, and you can conceal your temples, and then you, know, you could kind of just keep this fringe here in front, and it looks really, really cute in a ponytail, so it's pretty versatile that way. So yeah, that's my review of Raquel Welch Spotlight in the color Shaded Biscuit. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon, guys.